Hey guys, my name's Noah. Welcome back to my channel. But if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today's a good day. I woke up early and I went to the post office and I shipped out a bunch of plants that sold on my Etsy plant shop. So I'm having a really, really good morning, but for some reason, like I'm out of breath. So like if you hear me out of breath, I'm sorry. I don't know what that is, but I feel like it's just because I got such an early start to the day. But today I'm gonna share with you guys some of my February plant purchases. And I say some of them because I actually purchased uh, like five rare plants that I have on a whole separate haul. So I will leave that link down below. Um, I'm not gonna include those because I don't wanna be redundant. I'm just gonna share with you guys the ones that I didn't get to share with you in that video because not that these aren't rare, but they weren't purchased from that shop and I had done a whole video on that store that I shopped at, which is called Racy's Plant Shop. So if you wanna check that out, you definitely should. But today I'm just gonna share with you some of the other plants that I got. So let's get right into the video. All right, so the first thing I got is a Raven ZZ and I can't believe I actually found this because I have seen people do like Walmart plant hauls and they find this plant and I go to Walmart a hundred times in search for this plant and a few others and I've never been able to find anything that I'm looking for. I think I figured out why I had to go to a much further Walmart and they had a lot more stuff. So I was able to pick this up I wanna say it was like $16, which I think is a great price because you're also getting a pot as well as a rare plant. I've never actually had a ZZ plant before just because I've always been waiting to get a Raven ZZ. I don't really care to get just a regular green one. I absolutely love this dark foliage that it has and I just think it's so cute and I actually love the vase that it came with. I think it's beautiful. Also, um, the soil was super moist. I actually haven't had to water it since I picked it up like two weeks ago. So I'm hoping that it's okay and it's not gonna get root rot or anything, but I'll definitely make sure to do better at watering than Walmart does. So just to go along with another plant that I got at Walmart, I got this beautiful Birds of Paradise at Walmart. And what really caught my attention is this giant leaf right here. I'm just a sucker for a good leaf and I love it. You can see the veining on it. It's just so big compared to all the other ones, but it's still like a mini plant. I did repot this guy, so it did not come in this pot, but it did not come in like a fancy pot. And I think that's because this price was only like $4.97, so super cheap. And then what's funny is I actually got a Birds of Paradise at a nur local nursery like a week, not even a week, like a few days before I got this one. And I had really wanted a Birds of Paradise and I had fa seen it there. I think it was like $15. Um, so I picked it up and then I went to Walmart and saw this one for like $5. So I was like, you know what? It can't hurt to have two, right? But the cool thing about this one from the nursery and I think why it was $15 is because there's three plants in there, if you could see that. This one only has one. So yeah, I'm excited to see like kind of the difference between the two, like how are they gonna grow? Are they gonna be different? Are they gonna look the same? They're both white birds of paradise. So, so at that same local nursery here in Houston, Texas that I went to, I got this rickrack cactus and I just think it's adorable. I'll insert a picture of some really long ones, but that's like my goal. Like I love that look. I'm not gonna cut this or propagate it or anything. I want it to grow long. I actually noticed the other day that this right here coming out of this leaf is like brand new. That wasn't there when I got it. So I don't know if that's gonna be a spike, but it kind of looks like it's just another same like cactus. So is, does it just get more full on its own? That's pretty cool. I don't know much about this plant. So if you guys do know anything, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm happy to learn some more. But yeah, I just thought it was super cute and couldn't pass it up. I have actually been wanting this plant. I wanna say it was like $12. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was around $12 at the shop. So yeah, I kind of want to go back to that nursery and see what else they have because when I was there, they had like string of turtles. It was just kind of pricey and I didn't want to spend that much. And they had a few other cool plants that I had kind of wanted. I was with my son and I couldn't really carry that many. So I just picked up two, but I definitely want to go back there. They had really cool stuff. So next up, I got this. It was from Home Depot. It's $14.98 and it's ag an Aglionema. I actually don't have one yet and I've always been really partial to this color the pink one and then there's also like a silvery one that i love and i definitely will get that soon i just saw this one and i had to pick it up because of the colors it came with this pot like out here but i actually hate it so i'm waiting for it to dry out so i could just change it because 
this is not my vibe or at least I could spray paint it or something so that way I don't waste it but just want to make it a more neutral color but yeah this this plant is cool um I did notice oh see look right here a few days ago there's definitely some of the plant rotting on this stem right here, this bottom one. And I hope it didn't get the whole plant, but I can't even take it out of the pot because it's so drenched in water. I don't know why these big box stores do that, but this one seems like it could be salvageable since it's not the whole plant. I don't know, this is gonna be a little bit of a rescue mission, but I think it's fine. It didn't have any pests, it's just definitely overwatered. So yeah sucks but that's kind of how it is at big box stores it's always over water so one last plant you kind of saw this in a little video that i did going sh plant shopping but i just got this cute little plant i don't exactly know what it was somebody had told me in the comments what it is and i can't even remember now it started with a b and then somebody else said it was a Hawaiian snow bush. So I'm just gonna call it a Hawaiian snow bush because that's easy for me to remember. But it's really cute. It's very, very small and it drinks up the water like crazy. So I'm gonna repot this today into something bigger, which kind of sucks because I think this little owl planter is so adorable, but it does need a bigger pot and it does have a ton of new growth. I think I had one of these before and I obviously I killed it because I don't have it anymore. So I'm hoping that I can take good care of this, but yeah, for now, we'll see how it goes. So yeah, that is it. That is the end of my little February plant haul. Like I said, I did get a ton of more rare plants. Um, they're just in another video. I'll let you guys know what they are actually. I got a Skindapsis Exotica, which is crazy. I got a Hoya Crinkle 8. I got a Cebu Blue Pothos, and I got a Monstera Stilta Pecana. So if you want to go see those plants, definitely make sure to check out that, that video after you see this one if you have not seen it already. But yeah, with that all being said, make sure you do subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single Thursday and Sunday, and I'm actually thinking of doing Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday and doing three a week. So I don't know yet, but I think that might happen very soon. So definitely make sure you check out my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.